rapper Bun B shoots mask intruder in his Houston home after wife held at gunpoint. And then it says cops. Now I've heard the opinions of quite a few people on this article. And I was kind of hoping that I hear the thoughts that I had in mind when I first heard this. I'm a person that I always think beyond what I see. I don't believe everything I see or everything I hear because what you see and what you hear especially coming from the media could be extremely deceptive it's truth mixed with error mixed with missing pieces now when I heard the story the first thought came to my mind was that this could have been a setup by his wife and I'm going to read the article and I'm going to show you where I got that thought from. Because his wife, although they're trying to make her the hero or shero, saying that she was willing to offer up her vehicle to save her husband, didn't really sit right with me because she really should not have been trying to negotiate with a burglar. Now, I'm going to read the article before I speak on this further. Rapper Bun B got into an intense shootout with a burglar who held his wife at gunpoint and nearly managed to make off with her luxury vehicle. Fox News has confirmed. Houston police told Fox News on Wednesday, Bun B, whose real name is Bernard Freeman, managed to thwart off the would-be burglar Tuesday evening around 5.45 p.m. It's in the evening. It's still light outside. And keep in mind, they live in a gated community. After he heard a ruckus in the family's garage, Listen, after he heard a ruckus in the family's garage where his wife's Audi was parked and ran downstairs to investigate, check this out, a female heard a knock at the door. Now, keep in mind, he heard someone in the garage he rushed downstairs to investigate, but a female heard a knock at the door. Now, if this person came through the garage, I don't know how his house is made. I have friends that have a garage that they can enter the garage and then enter through their kitchen or a living part of their home. So they can walk out their house into the garage, get in their car. They have a remote control for the door. It opens up, I'm assuming. I can only assume this is how this house is set up because they heard someone in the garage. A female, now keep in mind, they did not say his wife. A female heard a knock at the door. And when she opened the door, she was confronted by a masked individual who demanded valuables from her. Now, she could have offered up her, her ring, uh, her necklace, her jewelry. But instead, police told us she then offered up her Audi. The first thing she chose to offer up was her Audi, which was parked in the garage. 
and while Bun B was upstairs. Now I thought he went to investigate the noise he heard in the garage. When he hears the commotion and grabs a gun and heads downstairs, according to police, the Houston legend confronted the suspect, Demonte Jackson, in the garage and the two men exchanged gunfire with Jackson managing to flee on foot, but not before he was shot. Now. When I read this, the first thought came to my mind was, could this female, his alleged wife, because I really don't know if the female was his wife or a female that was there, and then his wife was confronted by the burglar, which don't, doesn't make sense to me. But either way, he asked for valuables and she offered up her Audi. Was this a thing where she might have owed him money or he might have had information on her or this was a setup in some kind of way because why would she offer up one of the most expensive things her Audi I'll give you the keys to my car after he asked for valuables so she negotiated with the burglar that made no sense to me because how many women do you know negotiate with a burglar now I understand that sometimes fear will set in and you'll say take anything see because dude didn't know that her husband was upstairs so even if he came in he still would have been met with a surprise, especially if her husband was armed. But instead, when he knocked on the door, and I'm hoping that they had cameras, they should have had cameras. She happened to open the door when noise was in the garage. Now, which door he came in, I don't know because they heard the noise in the garage and then he knocked on the door was it just him or was it two people one person in the garage and another person at the front door but they didn't mention anyone else they just mentioned this dude right here Demonte Jackson so that leads me to believe that dude came through the garage which connects to their house and knocked on the door but my mind is still stuck on the fact that Bun B heard the commotion in the garage and went to investigate. But the female answered the door when the dude knocked on the door, put a gun to her head, and said, give me your valuables. And she offered up the vehicle just that quick. So was that vehicle going to be sold and they split the profit? What was the purpose of her offering up her vehicle that quick? Which makes me wonder, because of how my mind think it makes me wonder if this was a setup by her, an agreement she had with this dude. Now it says, police say Jackson later turned up at a Houston area hospital with a gunshot wound to his shoulder and was positively identified in a lineup by Bun B. Jackson was treated at the hospital and released into custody of the jail. He is charged with two counts of aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon and one count of burglary. It says both Bun B and his wife, now it's no longer just a female that answered the door. And maybe they got the female from the dude. But both Bun B and his wife were uninjured in the Halloween incident. The Trill OG rapper has long been a sta uh, staple in Houston 
and the hip hop community and is one of half of the ironic rap duo UGK with the late rapper Pimp C. Bun B's attorney did not immediately return Fox News request for comment. So Bun B looked like a good dude. I really don't know much about him. But when I heard this story, it just sound like it had some holes to me. It didn't sound right to me. It sounded like a setup to me. And maybe the setup was with the female or his wife that answered the door. So maybe I'm thinking too far into it, but it sounds quite fishy to me. No, I'm not always a conspiracy theorist, but I never really just look at what I see and I never take as truth what I see or what I hear or what I read. So it just sounds like it's got some holes to me. Feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe. Click on the donate button. Until next time, I'm fearless.